to this installment of Bruiser's Playbook State of the Art Guitar Power Chords uh, I can think of a very large number of songs that can be played using the open chords and bar chords that we've been introduced to by this point and have been playing uh, but there's an even larger body of work that employs what is most commonly known as the power chord. Uh, if you haven't figured it out yet, when we add heavy distortion to our bar chords, uh, they generally stop sounding good. We use If you haven't figured it out, uh, that doesn't sound too good. Uh, what does sound good with uh, distortion of this type, in this case a big muff, is the root of a chord and the fifth of a chord. In other words, we are playing the uh, two bottom notes of our bar chord. In this case, this is an an E shape, and then an A shape. Turn the distortion on, and here's our A. And then our D. To make these chords impact with maximum maximum effort and effect, uh, not effort, but effect, you need to uh, master the art of playing uh, more than one string on guitar and less than six. You know, at some point, uh, you just want these two notes to sound. So a lot of the muting is here on this fretting hand by taking your unfretting the notes when you're not playing them and your non-playing fretting fingers as well as the uh, palm of your hand and various parts of your picking hand as well. Power chords in the pentatonic scale. Uh, the, power, the pairing of power chords in the pentatonic scale is an essential thing for your, uh, well, for some larger than life guitar. First we'll take a look at an A minor pentatonic scale. Oh, 
And now we're going to play these notes as power chords. So we'll start with uh, Okay, so what we did there is we took the core or the, the scale notes and turned them into root notes of these new chords. Or in other words, we've kind of we've harmonized the scale. So here we have starting from the seventh note of our A minor scale, A minor pentatonic. So those chords had the root note as the bottom note. Uh, if we take this note and bump it up an octave, we now have an interval of a fourth, and our fifth note is now our lowest note. Here's, here's what I'm talking about. We take our A chord and bump this note up an octave. Now we have a fourth. So now if we take the A minor pentatonic again and put notes a fourth below, we can come up with a progression like so. Alright, so first, here we go with. Starting on the seventh, here's an A minor pentatonic shape. Now we're just going to add fourths to the bottoms of those notes. So. Rounding out our introduction to power chords is going to be the concept of using other intervals uh, to function as chords, namely, namely these. And basically what that is, is there's your A, that's an A6, and then one more fret is a minor 7. And there's all kinds of things you can do with that rhythm, uh, or that's that set of notes.
Okay, those shapes and all this other stuff is going to take time to uh, work through and get comfortable with. Having said that, moving forward, uh, the best way to get using these musically is to use them musically. Uh, one way is to take chord progressions and songs that you already know and have been playing and basically just chop the, uh, you know, the higher parts of the chords off and play them as power chords with a lot of distortion on. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a cool thing to do to make jamming different. Uh, but in any case, uh, what you hear initially may be awful, but uh, over the uh, but once you master the art of dampening and playing only the notes that you want to hear, it'll get much better. And there, this this is going to take a lot of work to master and. Uh, the reality is there are no shortcuts. Uh, believe me, I've looked for them. And there aren't. The shortcuts end up, uh, so-called shortcuts end up making you uh, lose a few steps, in my opinion. So, anyway, that is our introduction to uh, power chords. And I think we'll take it out of here with a little rocking and with that stuff. So until then, this is Bruiser signing off.